Hello, Carol Undy here again from cudigitizing.com and today I'm doing a very quick little video in response to a, an, an inquiry from Laurie about um, doing red work with your auto digitizing. So what I'm going to do is start with some artwork and I'm in the picture view and I'm going to load some artwork and this is a bow from the artwork collection that's for sale on my website and it's in the PNG format so just drop down menu to PNG and then you'll be able to locate those if you decide to purchase those and I'm just going to use this bow here open it up now it's a very big piece of artwork so we're going to reduce that in size and just pop it there so we can um, deal with it. So the first thing we're going to do is use the outline artwork preparation tool which is the bottom one here. Now this can be done in Editor Plus as well as Designer Plus. So these tools are in both um, versions of the software, version 5 that is, um, and I'm sure equal ones are available in version 6 for those of you who have it. So just left click on the Outline Artwork Preparation tool and your little dialog box will open. And this, in this case I don't need to do anything, I can see all the outlines very clearly. Okay, but if you couldn't, you could slide your slider along and when you release it, it gets darker as you go to this end. And it was too dark there obviously, so it all went black. And if I go right down to this end, it gets lighter. Now it doesn't really show up here, but if I go OK, you'll see the picture's gone completely pink, so that's no good. So we'll just undo that, and we'll do the outlined artwork preparation again, and if I leave it on the um, default setting and go OK, that's fine. I've got a nice outlined artwork there. Now we'll move on to the design view. So we've clicked on there, and we're going to select our auto digitizing tool and as we move across we've got our little red circle with the line through it when we get on the picture that disappears so we can now left click on the picture and our little dialog box opens for this now I have another video on auto digitizing so please watch that for, full, for more detail if I'm moving along a little bit fast for you in this video now this piece of artwork, if I move this aside, has a background and it has colour. And we only want, for red work, we only want an outline. So we're going to omit the background and also omit the pink colour. And I need to hold my control key down so that I can select the pink as well. And left click on it. And once I've done that, I have no areas that need to be filled, I've only got an outline, so it doesn't matter what I set the fill at, but I do need to change the details. If I leave it on satin, I'm going to get a satin border around the black. So I need to use the drop down menu here and select double run and go OK. And it was that quick. If I hide the picture, you can see that I have the double run of the shape of the bow, the black outline. Let's go to artistic view and have a look at that. So there we are stitched out. That was simple wasn't it? Um, it's much simpler with good artwork of course. Um, so you need to do more work on your artwork if you don't get a good result. I hope that helps people. This design could be easily used as a quilting design too, um, to um, instead of stipple quilting or another um, sort of quilting, you could copy and paste several of these and put them around your block. Um, so another thing you could do would be to use your wreath tool um, if you have designer pl plus. But as it is, um, if you don't have Designer Plus, you could at least copy and paste. So you would just need to select the design, copy and paste, and you'll get another one. And so you can continue on. You can rotate those by selecting it and clicking on it again. And your little boxes will become clear and then you can rotate the design 
just drag, sorry. Just select it again and drag it up there in the hoop and select this one and select it again and rotate this one also. And move that one down this part of the hoop. Now you'll notice that um, they're jumping back from where I actually put them. That's because I've got auto centering on. So if you're having trouble placing your designs, just deselect the auto center in the hoop dialog box. So right click on that and put manual centering. And that way you can put things wherever you like in the hoop and they'll stay there. If you like this video and my other videos, please subscribe. I now have um, my YouTube channel embedded on the tutorial page on my website, so you can actually subscribe directly from my website by clicking on the yellow subscribe button there. Or if you're on my YouTube channel now, you can um, subscribe on the yellow button on my channel. Also, I really appreciate it when people rate my videos and I love to get comments and I love to get inquiries so I was really um, enjoyed getting Laurie's inquiry because it enabled me to make this short video so I'm looking forward to hearing from you thank you very much